my make studio and today you guys we are going to be doing the fall flower cupcake kids yes so if the sticker on your my make studio box right here does not say fall flower cupcake kit no worries you're probably just looking for another video so go ahead and stop this one and head back to our youtube channel and find the video that's titled the same as whatever sticker is on your box right here but if it does say fall flower cupcake kit Welcome, it's gonna be an awesome time and fall is also like my favorite time of the year. And I love icing flowers because I can't keep real flowers alive. So these are like my favorite kind of flowers that exist. But there are a couple things we need to go over before we actually get started. So and number one, inside your box is a box of cake mix. And on the back of the cake mix box are directions on how to bake your cupcakes. So go ahead and just follow that along and bake your cupcakes. Now, if you're like, uh, I don't have a cupcake pan or any of that. Not to worry because inside your box is a cupcake pan and some liners. So you will need to fill this up twice. You can put your liners in, bake your cupcakes, pull them out, and then bake another round. But we've got you, we've got you, we've got your back. And then other than that, I recommend that your cupcakes be at least room temperature. We're not gonna do a lot of smoothing out and whatnot today. So room temperature is fine. I do think cupcakes are a little bit easier to decorate the colder they are. So if you're really new to decorating and you're feeling kind of hesitant, I recommend that you pop them in the fridge or the freezer for like 30 minutes just to chill them down a bit more. But if you've decorated with me before and whatnot, room temperature should just be fine. <laughs> Sorry, you guys, words are hard for me sometimes. But the main thing is we don't want to decorate hot cupcakes because when we put icing on hot cupcakes, they turn into a hot soupy goopy mess. We don't want a hot soupy goopy mess. We want beautiful fall flowers today. So room temperature or slightly chilled. Other than that, you will need everything inside your box and a handy dandy pair of scissors. This is just to help cut some candies and whatnot open. And then I always recommend a towel. It can be a hand towel, a kitchen towel, a paper towel. Just something to put our open icings on and to wipe our icing fingers as we go to keep our area a bit more clean. And then lastly, go ahead and wash your hands super duper good if you haven't done that already. Aside from that, we're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my table. And if you still need to bake your cupcakes, no worries. You can go ahead and pause me and I'll be here when you get back. But I'm going to jump right into it. So I'll be back in a second. Hi! All right, so first of all, the idea with this is that you have enough stuff to make two of each design that we go through today. So I will be going through six designs. You have enough stuff to make two of each, so you can make two cupcakes at a time as you follow along with me, or if you wanna save your other six cupcakes and do some DIY craziness, maybe you'll be inspired or be like, you know what, I wanna make this flower this way instead. You can totally do that. You can do one at a time instead if you want, but you do have enough stuff to do two of each design but I will only be doing one because I'm just showing you how to do them. So the first one we're gonna start with is a pretty red fall flower. So go ahead and pick out whatever cupcake or cupcakes feel like a pretty red fall flower to you. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to our little bag of fun and we're gonna take out the baggie of these plastic looking weird things. Those are our tips for today. So it's this right here. And we're gonna use the open star tip. It is the one that is a circle with a bunch of spikies around it. Inside your box, there's also a booklet that does have a little page that says what the tips are and shows a little bit of what they do, if that's helpful for you. But we are looking for this one. So circle with the spikies. Circle, spikies, circle, spikies, circle. All right, all right. So I am going to put this on my red icing. And to do that, you take your icing, take this part off and then you see this little white circle go ahead and boop, pop it out and now this is the coupler ring that attaches our tips to the tubes of icing like this what it's so cool so i'm going to remove the seal and then i'm going to stick this on top and then take my little ring and put it on over it now sometimes the tips have a mind of their own and they like to play tag they're like no no you can't catch me no no well if that's happening to you Nothing wrong with it. It just means you need to move your tip around a little bit and apply a little bit of pressure. It will go on there. Just sometimes they want to play tag. But it doesn't need to be on there so tight that you can't take it off. It needs to be on tight enough that if you do this, it doesn't go flying across the room. So what is going to happen is we are going to draw some U's or more like teardrops 
and a circle around and around. So I like to start in the middle, hold it straight up and down. I'm not touching my cupcake, I'm a little above it. And then I'm going to squeeze, come to my U, and then I make it really close together. So it's like a U, but it also could be like a teardrop. And you're just gonna do that in circles all the way around. So then I'm just going to go ahead and set this aside and I'm going to come to my yellow icing for my flower center. And for this one, I like to use my personal all-time favorite of the tips, the grass tip. It's the one that looks like a thimble. It's this one with a bunch of little holes in it. So I'm going to put that on my yellow and then it's up to you. You can do one big squeeze of it or you can do little tiny sections. I usually like to do little tiny sections, but they're your cupcakes. Whatever makes you happy, go ahead and do that. I want you to be happy with your cupcakes. Ta-da! So I'm gonna hold it a little bit above my cupcake. It's like I'm really trying to irritate somebody, like, I'm not touching you, but I'm like almost touching them right in their face. That is what we are doing to our cupcake. So you can hold it in the middle and squeeze for like one, two, three, four, stop and lift up for one big poof in the center. I like to do little tiny poofs, so I make a little circle of little poofs. So I usually do like a one, two squeeze. The method is the same, you just squeeze longer if you want one big one versus a cluster of them. So right in the center, one, two. And it's really important that you stop and lift straight up, especially with this tip. A lot of people have the tendency to squeeze and then dip back down before they lift up. And when you do that, it messes up your design. So be really thoughtful of stop, lift straight up. Try not to dip back down or you won't get these little, these little cute poofies. One, two, one, two, and then one more in the middle. And I'll do a little one over here. Yes. Ta -da! And there we go, that's our first cupcake, you guys. Yes! We're gonna go ahead and move on to cupcake number two, which is going to be some little drop flowers. So for our drop flowers, the first thing we need to do is to put some grass down on our cupcake. So I'm going to take this tip, the grass tip. We're actually gonna use it for grass. If you've decorated with me before, you know that's kind of strange. I usually use it for a bunch of other things other than what it's supposed to be for, but it does make really good grass. But I'm gonna put it on the green. So you can go rinse this out in the sink if you'd like, or you can just put it on your green and squeeze it for about three or four seconds and it will push all of the old color out. Totally up to you which way you wanna go about that. Uh, for this one, I'm probably just gonna squeeze it out onto my paper towel here. Yes. All right, so all over our cupcake, we are going to put grass. And it's just like with the center of our flowers, we don't wanna put it right on our cupcake because if you do that and squeeze, nothing happens. You need to be irritating it, holding it a little above. And then you've got some options. You can either go one, two, three, stop and lift, or some trim grass, or you can keep squeezing while you lift up for some more floppy grass. Or you can go spaghetti style, like the HOA is really upset with your yard, and just blah, 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 for some wild grass. Whichever one you like better, go ahead and cover the whole top of your cupcake in that. Ta -da! So now for the drop flowers, and I usually like to do yellow and orange. However, you could do orange and red, or red and yellow instead if you'd like. To feel free to put your own spins on it, totally up to you. But I'm just gonna take this one off, our open star tip, the one we use to make our, our use slash our teardrops for our cupcake. And I'm going to put it on my orange. And I'm just going to squeeze it out just a little bit, just a little bit. But I'm going to show you something cool that can happen. So if you want to like see this part first and then decide what route you want to go, totally cool. Perfect. So for a drop flower, we're gonna hold it straight up and down, 
and we're going to squeeze in the same spot for anywhere from three to four seconds. So just pick a spot on your cupcake. Okay. One, two, three. I think three is good. Yeah. So then if you put it on another color, instead of squeezing all the icing out into a little pile like this, it doesn't last very long, but you can get a couple of them this way. And you can go back and forth. So I'm going to squeeze a little bit till I can see my yellow and then immediately stop. Yep, I'm gonna stop. And then one, two, three. One, two, three. You will get this whole tie-dye thing going on, which I'm a fan of all the colors, so I love the tie-dye effect. But you can usually get, it depends on how big you squeeze them, but usually for, with orange onto yellow, you can usually get about three before it's all yellow. And then you can just go ahead, if you want to keep them all tie-dye, and just switch it back onto here. And it's up to you how many you put on there. I usually put anywhere from six to seven on my cupcake. It also just depends on how I'm feeling that day. There's no right or wrong amount to put on here. Switch it out a little bit. Yeah, I want this one more orangey. One, two, three. Yeah, I've got seven on here. Sweet. I'm happy with this. And then don't worry about these little Hershey Kiss parts. We're gonna, we're gonna fix that. So inside your little bag of fun, you have a little baggie that has these inside them. These, these black balls right here. Well, these are perlets, and if you're not sure what that means, they're basically sixlets, and if you're like, I still don't know what that is, they are round, fancy M&Ms, so they are chocolate balls. And these are going to be our flower centers today. So just pop it open, and then all you do is take one, and stick it right in the center and give it a little boop. Isn't it cute? I think it's cute. I love making flowers, you guys. I love it. There we go. And I'm just gonna fill them all in that way. Ta-da! And that's it, you guys. Look at this. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at it. Look at it. There we go, you guys. That's the second cupcake in our fall flower extravaganza today. And we're going to go ahead and move on to cupcake number three, which is going to be rosettes. So go ahead and pick out whatever cupcake feels like a rosette cupcake to you. If you're like, I don't really know what a rosette is, Mr. Taylor, pick out your biggest cupcake. Whichever one is a little bit wider, I would pick that one. And if they're all the same size, then cool, just pick, just pick any one. <laughs> Ta -da! So, you can do whatever colors you want. I like to use chocolate and red for this one and then make little tiny yellow flowers. But again, feel free to change those colors up if you want. But I'm going to show you how to make rosa. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off, the open star, and put it on my red icing. And then if you want to do the whole tie-dye method with this one too, you totally can. Okay. So let me explain what's going to happen. With a rosette, how it works is you make a blob, keep squeezing, come to the side of your blob, and then draw a circle around your blob slash next to it. If you come to the side and then draw a circle on top of your blob, it will make a whipped cream swirl instead of a rosette. So I like to start on the edge of my cupcake. You could start right in the middle though if you wanted. I'm going to go about here. So blob so like a one two come to the side and draw a circle around your blob not on top of it and then stop squeezing and go so that's how you make a rosette now if you try to do a rosette directly next to your last one because you draw that circle around you're going to end up dragging through the last one you made and ruining it so you actually want to leave a little bit of space so I know that I want a chocolate one here. So instead, I'm just gonna come directly across from it and make another red one. And you can even make them a little bit smaller if you want. That one I just did like a one and then a round. And I think I can fit one more right here. And now I'm happy with the amount of red on here. So I'm going to go ahead and put this tip onto my brown icing. 
And if you have these little tails and whatnot, don't worry about them. We're going to cover them up here in a little bit. There's a trick to that. We're just going to get our flowers down first. So I'm just here. Set one Yes. And then I want a little bit more color. So I'm going to switch this to my yellow. Now, since there's chocolate in here and it is a much like stronger color, I would recommend rinsing out in the sink, usually. Um, I think that I will be just fine squeezing it, but I also really like the chocolate and yellow tie-dye pattern. And for this one, I'm going to, I'm not making rosettes. I'm just going to do a one and lift up. I just want a little variation because we're kind of making like a fall bouquet right now. And I just want a little more pops of color before we go and add the leaves. Yes, alrighty. So now for leaves inside the bag that has your tips. We are going to take out the one that looks like a V or an alligator mouth and we are going to put it on our green. And when we're using this tip, couple things. We want to hold it sideways like it is an alligator mouth that is just going to throw up icing all over our cupcake. And then two, we want to leave our hand in the same spot while we're squeezing. So you want to leave it like this. You don't want to pull it while you squeeze. If you pull it while you squeeze, it just gives you a different look, but it makes your leaves way more floppy and they're less likely to have those nice fine points. And it looks more like a hanging potted plant versus the flower, like the leaves of a bouquet. So alligator mouth, same spot, stop squeezing and then pull back. If you pull back while you squeeze or move it while you squeeze, your leaves will be very floppy and hangy. So, alligator mouth. And then I'm almost touching the cupcake, but not quite. With this one, you could touch the cupcake if you wanted to, though. And then one, two, three. I didn't move my hand from that spot. Stop and pull. Let your icing come to you. One, two, three. Stop and pull. Once you've got that down, you can do it straight up and down, but it's the exact same thing, just at a different angle. One, two, three, stop, and then lift up. And it's just adding however many leaves you want. So I like to put them wherever I see gaps in my flowers, or if I see a particular part of my flower that I'm like, kind of want to cover that up, I cover it up with a leaf. You could even make a nice little pretty border if you wanted. I'm a fan of like the messy vibe. So I like to have my leaves going all over the place and kind of chaotic because that's what I like. And this is my cupcake. So that's what I'm gonna do. But if you wanna do a pretty border round of leaves, it's also adorable and go for it. Feel free to be creative. Always feel free to be creative. Ta -da, it's a beautiful little bouquet. Alrighty, we're gonna go ahead and move on and we're gonna make a chocolate sunflower next. So go ahead and pick out whatever cupcake or cupcakes feel like a chocolate sunflower to you. So for our chocolate sunflower, first thing we're gonna do is with no tip on our chocolate icing, we are going to put a little blob in the center. It's gonna be kind of hard to see since my cupcakes are chocolate, but the blob. So it's about the size of a Hershey Kiss. And it kind of looks like a Hershey Kiss too. <laughs> Then inside the little bag of fun, you have chocolate sprinkles. So, I, you can get a little bowl to put these in if you want. I usually just cut the tippy 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 corner end of this so they don't just go everywhere. And I personally do this part in my hand, but if you do want to put these in a bowl, you can do this part in a bowl too instead of your hand. But I'm going to squeeze them in, and then I'm going to take my cupcake, and I'm going to dunk it blah, 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 face first into the sprinkles. And I'm going to set those right there because we'll use them later. And then if it's a little like cattywampus now, the sprinkles actually make your icing kind of pliable. So you can push it and move it around to make it more circular if you would like. I'm happy with this. 
and then we are going to take the leaf tip. So this time, because we use a lot of chocolate on our chocolate sunflowers, I don't want to waste any of it squeezing it out. It would be okay, but just to be safe, I do recommend that you go rinse this out in the sink, and we will need to rinse this tip out again after this cupcake. So I'm gonna go rinse this out, and then we will come back and make our sunflower because even though it's a leaf tip, you can totally use it for flower petals, which I think is awesome. So for me personally, I like to start on the edge of my cupcake and work my way in. Now, however, I understand that not everybody's brain likes that. So if you want, you can start in the center and work your way out. You will just be doing the reverse of what I'm doing. So for instance, if you're starting on the edge, we have a very level angle here, and we'll make a little row. Uh, it's the same way we made leaves, leave it in the same spot. Uh, for this one, you could squeeze one, two, three, or like a one, two. Depends on how poofy you want that to be. But let me just, let me just, I'll do half and half for you. Okay, so the way I like to do it is this way, sideways. One, two, three, stop and pull. And I make a row like that all the way around. Now, when I go to make my next row, if I'm at the same angle, I just wiped my leaf off. So I'll do a row this way. And then when I get to the second row, I'll tilt it a little bit. So I went from this to this. And then when I get to the next row, I'll need to tilt it again and again and again until I get to the center. Now, if you are wanting to start in the center of your cupcake instead of the edge, you would start out at this angle and then slowly lower your angle as you go down. Does that make, I hope that makes sense. So which, whichever one feels more comfortable for you, I like to start on the edge and make one full circle and then change my angle, make another circle and work my way up that way. But if you would rather start at your sprinkles and work your way down, it's totally fine. But it's just like we made our leaves, just a one, two, three, or a one, two, stop and pull. So our next cupcake is going to be my favorite thing about fall, like fall leaves, you guys, fall leaves. Like I'm that person that sees a pretty leaf and picks it up and I have a box of dead fall leaves on my bookcase because they're pretty. So I really like this cupcake. So that is why I say go ahead and rinse out the leaf tip on your brown unless you plan on putting some brown leaves in your leaf pile. And this is another one that we can do the whole tie-dye thing. And I actually think that's really cool. And you know what? I'm going to use just a little bit of brown. So if you're not planning on tie-dyeing it and you want to have like all my orange leaves, all my yellow leaves, all my red leaves, then definitely go ahead and rinse this out and then squeeze it out in between each color. But if you want to go for the messy tie-dye thing, you can leave it this way if you want some brown in your cupcake, which I've decided I do. That's how I feel. I'm gonna put on orange. I think that'll be fun. Oh yeah, I'm gonna tie-dye this whole thing. You don't have to tie-dye it if you don't want to. The method is the same. You can just squeeze all the excess color out of your tip before you move to your next color. You don't have to tie-dye things if you don't want to. It's just that I, I love tie-dye, so I'm gonna do it. <laughs> same as squeeze a little. Oh, yeah, just a little more, okay. So with this, you can do pretty little leaves. What I like to do is I like to make different sizes. So instead of one, two, three, stop and pull, this time I add a jab to some of my leaves. I'm sure there's a way more technical term for it. But that's how my brain remembers it. It's like you're poking somebody while squeezing your icing. So I'm still sideways. I'm going to pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, burp, 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 burp. stop when I get to the end, and then pull. So I just like to do a couple like that, <laughs> here and there. 
Yes, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my red. And then I'm gonna put it from my red to my yellow and you're just filling up your cupcake with leaves. You, um, I like to put, because I like to do different sizes, I'll have bigger leaves on the bottom and then I'll put a couple tiny leaves on top. But you don't have to do two layers of leaves if you don't want to, totally up to you. Go squeeze this out just a little. And when your icing starts to run low, treat it like toothpaste, just kind of mush it and then fold the top down. Big leaf for me, here and here, and then blah, 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 blah. I love it so far. <laughs> yes, this cupcake makes me happy. They all make me happy. I really like cupcakes if you can't tell. But like leaves, you guys. <laughs> Colorful leaves? Yes. But I'm also the person that has a pair of uh red fall leaf shoes <laughs> so take that as you will i like leaves <laughs> and i like fall <laughs> it's my favorite oh yes okay the orange or the yellow and the red leaves are my favorite look how gorgeous that is oh you're so pretty And then I think I'm just gonna put one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So see, I've started to add, I'll hold it up for you. I've started to add my different sizes to that. I just feel like it makes it look more like a pile. So I'm just gonna add a couple, just a couple more. I might add like one or two brown on top and switch back to my orange. Yeah, just, just a little, just a little. I don't want to do too much brown, so I have enough for my other chocolate sunflower, but I have enough to do just a little bit of leafage going on. Just a little, just a little, just a little, little bit. Oh, yes. Love it. Perfect. Right onto the orange. And it's just until you're happy with it. <laughs> I'm going to do a little bit more and then I'm going to call it. And ta-da! It's our pile of leaves cupcake. Yes! Well, it's time for our last cupcake, which is going to be a succulent style cupcake as a whole. With that in the set, it just it brings everything together. They look adorable. So I am going to go ahead and rinse out my open star tip. And then I'm going to put it on my green. So I will be right back. So for our succulent, remember how we did rosettes earlier? How this one is a blob and then the side and draw a circle around the blob? Well, we're doing that again, just one giant one. So we'll have multiple circles. So we're going to let it fill up more in here. So like a one, two, three, come to the side, draw some circles, and then keep drawing circles until you're almost at the edge of your cupcake. Or if you get like one or two circles on there and you're like, no, this is cute and want to stop, go ahead and stop. Again, they're your cupcakes, whatever feels right for you. And then all we're going to do is take our chocolate sprinkles. Now, this one would be probably more helpful with a bowl, <laughs> but you can do it in your hand, which is what I'm going to do. I'll do what I want. And I'm going to turn it sideways and I'm just going to dip the edges of that last row and then chocolate sprinkles. So it looks like it's kind of like growing out of some soil is the idea. <laughs> Plus chocolate sprinkles are awesome. I'm going to adjust my hand a little. And there we go. Oh, this one needs a little, I want a little more. I want a little more. I, I, there we go too soon. A little, a little more. Okay, I'm happy now. There we go. And that's it, you guys. It's a full flower cupcake kit. High five. Yes, we did it. We're cool. We did it. <gasps> yeah. And that is it, you guys. That is the Fall Flower Cupcake Kit. Thank you so much for coming today. I hope that you had a good time. 
And if you would like to share your beautiful creations with us, because I love seeing what you guys do, because like, real talk, everybody, real talk. The reason I love decorating is because cakes and cupcakes in my world, it's just art that you can eat. It's just art class, and then you get to eat your project. Like that, that is so cool to me. And art is unique, just like you are. So even though we're all following along around the same instructions, whatnot, everybody always puts their own personality into the cupcakes. And I think that is one of the coolest things ever. Like that is so, so awesome, you guys. So if you would like to share your photos with us, you can go to our website, which is mymakestudio.com. And if you click on the Chef Chayla tab, there will be an option to upload your photos and you'll also then become part of our Baker's Club and get a certificate from me. So if you would like to do that, mymakestudio.com, Chef Chayla tab, photos, baker certificate, part of the club. But if you don't wanna do it and you're like, no, it's okay, you don't have to share them if you don't want to. I'm just happy that you guys came and regardless, I hope that you all had fun today. And since we're already talking about the website, I had to breathe. <laughs> so since we're already talking about the website, while you're there, or if you're just curious what else we have, because we have cupcake kits, we have different icing flower kits if you want more of those. We have some succulents and then we have regular icing flowers. Or if you're like, you know what? I don't really want to do flowers. We have food, we have unicorns. We also do cakes like geodes. We do square cakes. There's like a beach and a garden. So there's all kinds of options on there. So if you need a little bit more decoration and sweetness in your life, feel free to check out our other options too. And since we're talking about all the things, you guys, all the things, if you would like to follow any of our social medias, they are all at my make studio. So our Facebook, our Instagram, and our TikTok, they are all at my make studio. They're all fun places to follow for different reasons. Facebook and Instagram are pretty cool to see what new and upcoming things we have, or if we're doing an event near you where you can come decorate with us. Or if you want to see a TikTok, that's kind of like a dive into my world. Like you want to see how I did my hair this way? There's a video on that. Want to see my dog being weird? Want to see this cupcake I made look like the monster cupcake from Breath of the Wilds? Then check out the TikTok. But again, if you want to follow any of our social medias, at My Make Studio, for Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And then if you need some more sweetness in your life, you can check out our options on our website, which is MyMakeStudio.com. But for real easy you guys, thank you so much for coming today. I really do hope that you had fun. And lastly, I hope that you enjoy eating your beautiful creations because that's the next best part. And as always, stay creative.